welcome back. This is Ballas Cube with an episode of Let's Play Diablo. I'm joined as always by my warrior. My self named warrior. Uh, we are in the second floor of the dungeon, and I have a slightly different tactic, which is do everything I possibly can except fight the butcher. Uh, I, all I was able to do in town was to buy, uh, buy potions and repair. Everything else was too expensive, so I'm, uh, I don't think I can take them on. Okay, it's blocked, but I swear there was something else here. There it is. Scroll of Identify. There we go. Uh, so I, I'm, I don't think I can take him on right now. I'm not a high enough level, so we will come back to him at some other point. Uh, there's a door down here somewhere? There is a door down here. That's why you use the auto map. Because it helps. The little mini map. Ah, fuck. Come at me. Come at me. You know you want to. I'll take you on. Okay. Ah, crap. There's so many of them. Die. There we go. I'm doing pretty good, though. You know, not, not doing too bad for having all these archers here. I will come back and loot this later. Ah. Ah. Damn it. I'm trying to loot here. I, didn't, I, I don't see what it is I'm picking up, but I'm picking it up. Uh, that's, that's gold, de uh, definitely. Okay. Damn it. Okay, this is why I brought so many health potions. Damn, archers are everywhere. There we go. Get a potion of mana. I can sell that. If I ever choose to walk all the way back to the witch. Adria the witch. Oh man, this is such a long walk to get to her. That was a trap chest. Awesome. As a warrior, you you don't really care about the trap chest. Open them up anyway. You know, even if you can tell it's a trap, you can see the hole. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on. Come in here. Alright, we're healing. I hate using the potions when I don't have to. Okay, I need to up my dexterity. I, I looked up the, the uh, what the stats did again, because I assume that they did the same that they did in uh, Diablo 2, and it's very close, but dexterity does greatly affect your chance to hit. And right now, my chance to hit sucks, so I need to up my dexterity up by 5. The next level up I get. Die, dead eye. I got him. Wow, I didn't think I would get him that fast. But he dropped. You know, they always drop something good. Like, seriously, my dexterity is what's killing me right now. Oh, I dropped a saber. Nice. Check that out. Okay. There we go. Let's get the barrels. Damn, barrels are exploding on me. Uh, if one of them explodes, it should explode all the ones, you know, right around it that are also trapped. So, if if one of them explodes and the one next to it doesn't explode, then that one will not explode when you open it. I, does that make sense? It, it does not sound like I made sense when I said that. This is a huge floor of the dungeon. <coughs> Damn it. <coughs> no. Chase me. Chase me. Come on. You can hit me from there. Come on, let's go down here then. Yay! There we go. Alright, got a level up. Sweet. Am I back in range? Damn it. That was like the whole point was to get out of the range of the arches. There we go. Oh, he dropped like a morning star. That should be awesome. I already pick it up. Like, don't let me, don't let me, no, I did not. Don't let me forget that one. Ah, no, 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 I just want the chest right now. Ah, they're coming at me again. They won't leave me alone, these damned range archers. They, well, all archers are ranged, but these archers. 
Huh. You can't hit me. I am sneaky. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah, the, uh, I love getting the blue stuff and the yellow stuff, especially the yellow stuff. Oh, I didn't. Mi I don't think I mentioned it, but I did that yellow, uh, that yellow dagger. I got it. Absolutely sucked. Uh, yeah, they they do not. I, I looked it up because I'm like, I'm gonna sell this, aren't I? And I didn't want to sell something that was, uh, you know, that I just misunderstood. But no, it sucked. It had like a durability of four, I think. That dexterity I desperately need. Chance to hit 65%. There we go. That is much, much better. Much better than what I was doing before. Oh, it's a door. Okay. So, uh, the uh, the butcher is, is hanging out over here. So, we will avoid that. We have that saber. How am I doing on inventory? Uh, we're getting we're getting close to to being full, and when I am full, I'm gonna need to leave. But right now, I am good, and it looks like I've fully explored this side. So I'm gonna go back to town, sell some stuff, buy some more potions, and then hopefully we will be ready to take on the butcher when I come back. If not, we're gonna have to go down to level three. Yeah, I'm I'm not joking. Level three before we can take on the butcher. All right, be right back. Okay, I'm back. The saber that I got was the uh, saber of skill, plus 9 in dexterity, which does help out a lot. My chance to hit is now 69%, and with 3 to 10 damage, armor class to 24, which should be pretty good, uh, because I did upgrade to the leather armor, and yeah. This is going to be tough. As you can see, I'm pretty much full on uh, mana potions, and we're going to try this again. Fresh meat. Die. Die. Come on. I think we got this. Uh, we're hitting them. We're hitting them quite a bit here. I am blocking quite a few too. It's, you know, there's no health bar on them. That would be appreciated. But, you know, we're getting them. We're getting them. Yeah, it's just a, a knockdown, drag out fight. You know, there's no real secret to, to killing the butcher. Down he goes! The spirits of the dead are now avenged. Give me that cleaver. Right click. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we can actually go this way. Oh, do you remember where he was hanging out? Way the fuck over here. So let's go that way, and hopefully there was something good in there as well. We can talk to the wounded guy outside and finish up our quest while we're there. Probably talk to people in town. Uh, they might give us another one. They might not. I don't really remember, you know, when, when they start giving us quests. So, uh... We having a barbecue? What's going on in here? Unfortunately, there's no loot in there. I thought there might be. But there wasn't. Uh, he cannot open doors, so if I was smart enough, I could go through and, you know, close the door on him and, until I was ready to fight him. But I did not get there fast enough. If you look back at episode two, I did try to go back and, and close the door, but I was unable to do so. Oh, you're an archer? Then you come here. What do we got? Book of Healing, I'll take that. If I can't use it, I don't think I can. I don't think I have a high enough magic step to use the, the heal Book of Healing, but I can definitely, definitely sell that for some good money. Nothing in the sarcophagus. I hate when they give me something and there's nothing in it. Oh, screw you. No, let me out. Okay, come, come with me. Thank you. Come on, let's go through here. No. There we go. Fight him off. Oh, it, it looks like it was a special. No, it's just a regular one. But I guess skeletons are immune to magic. Whatever. 
I'm taking what's in this chest. Okay. So we're almost done with uh, the second floor. I mean, this... Ah, crap. There was a special one there. I definitely saw that. Is there another one? Yeah, there's, they always come in packs. They never come one at a time. All right, charge! Oh, it's just a skeleton. And these are corpse bows. They do give me hit points, though, which is nice. I've killed 31 of them. It just just takes one or two hits to kill these guys, usually. Potion of healing, I will need that eventually. So we got potion of full healing, that is awesome. Really early in the game for that, but I will take it. Die. Yeah, we're only on floor two still. It's floor two out of 16. So even though there's just one dungeon here, it is a long enough dungeon to carry us through the entire game, and it will take us quite a bit to get through all of it, because I, as usual, need to see everything. So I will be going through every last corner of all the dungeons. It's just the way I play. I'm sure... Actually, I, I know. I've seen a speedrun of this game. You can beat it in under 15 minutes. And I know because at the time, YouTube had a 15-minute video limit, and the guy did it in one video. It was insane. He, he was a sorcerer. He found some skill book somewhere. I don't know. He, he It was crazy. He didn't do any of the quests. For a game like this, a speedrun is not where it's at. Ooh, buckler. Okay, looks like need to go all the way over there then. That's our last part of uh, the unexplored second floor. Get a crown mace. Okay, now we are doing with that dexterity boost. We are definitely doing pretty good. As you saw, it, it gave me my scimitar. I think it was my whatever weapon I'm using. It gave me plus nine to dexterity, and that's really helping out. Getting a lot, got a lot more hits. Should, should have been, uh, look at telekinesis, holy crap. Um, should have been, uh, doing dexterity instead of strength. Apparently strength is not nearly as good in this game as I remember it. So, had, I have had to change what I thought my build was gonna be. That's okay, you know. There's no perfect build in this game, so you can you can mess up a little bit here and there, you know, adding up to a few more in uh, magic up to like 20 or so isn't isn't gonna you know completely ruin your character. So it looks like we are done with the second floor. So I'm gonna go back to town, go through my town portal, and then I will meet you at the entrance to the third. You know, what? I'll just meet you on the third level. I'll be right back. And we're back in town, but the wounded townsman is gone. He's just gone. Uh, I wonder what happened to him. Did, did, did he die? Is he gone? I avenged his death then. There's, there's my portal, by the way. I avenged his death. We need... Fine, I guess I'll just talk to Griswold then. Whoa, what can I do for you? Uh, is it Chris Wall? Is it Deckard Kane then? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and no. listen. I swore. Well, what can I do for you? I swore they gave me a quest in here. The village needs your help, good sure. master. Some months ago, King Leoric's son, Prince Albrecht, was kidnapped. The king went into a rage and scoured the village for his missing child. With each passing day, Leoric seemed to slip deeper into madness. He sought to blame innocent townsfolk for the boy's disappearance and had them brutally executed. Less than half of us survived his insanity. The king's knights and priests tried to placate him, but he turned against them and, sadly, they were forced to kill him. With his dying breath, the king called down a terrible curse upon his former followers. He vowed that they would serve him in darkness forever. This is where things take an even darker twist than I thought possible. 
Our former king has risen from his eternal sleep and now commands a legion of undead minions within the labyrinth. His body was buried in a tomb three levels beneath the cathedral. Please, good master, put his soul at ease by destroying his now cursed form. So we do have our next quest, which is to take on King of New York. But we're going to have to take that on next time. Looks like that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Diablo. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.